You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Fields Boyer versus Sandifer. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Yeah. Ms. Boyer and Ms. Fields, you've both brought the defendant, Mr. Sandifer, to court today to prove that he is your biological father, but you each believe that you are his only daughter and the other is not. Am I correct? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Mr. Sandifer, you state you do not believe that either is your daughter, but actually hope that one is and one is not. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. I will start with you, Ms. Fields. Yes. Ms. Boyer, you may have a seat. So, Ms. Fields, start from the beginning. About two years ago, I sent him a message on Facebook asking him if I could borrow some money, and he responded with, maybe I need to find my real dad, that he wasn't even my father. That's not true. I was upset, Your Honor, at that point in time, because she just kept on aggravating me about money, money, and that's, that's the only time I've ever heard from her is when it was money. But you never, you've never done anything for me. With me... What do you mean I've never done anything You've never for done you? anything. I carried you to the park, I carried you to the fairs. When? 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 You all don't I remember, remember all is you this. staying You were such a small child, all I you don't remember a lot home. of things. Mr. Sandifer, so you said you had been there for her her whole life? No, ma'am. Not her whole life. So you've been there in what capacity? I would say half of it. And you acted as a father. No, he did not. He did not raise me. My I did the best I could my as a father. My grandparents raised me because my All right, mother... so Mr. Sandiford, yeah, yeah, they did adopted you, you because they because under they, I could not be financially supported. I didn't know nothing about it. Because you're not on my birth certificate. You didn't do anything I for me, so why? I my case. I'm not on your birth certificate. Because, but so why? Who is your father? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. If you're not, I don't know. But I've been led to believe my whole life that you're my father. You introduced me as your child. Why change now? Why do you have doubts, specifically? For one reason, Your Honor, her, my name's not on her birth certificate. She doesn't have no comparison to me or any of my family. You are my father. You are my father. I don't compare to you because you were never around me. I have doubts, young okay. lady. All right. Tell me about your childhood, Miss Fields. Growing up, I was, um, him and my mother were, like, were married from the time I was four to about the time I was nine. This hurts you. It's okay. I was adopted take to my grandparents time. because my mother couldn't afford... She couldn't afford to take care of three children by herself. My grandparents stepped no, that, in that, to that's help a lie me. Right there. Let her finish. She, couldn't, she was working at a bar in a burger place. She could not afford it. Three children by herself? You didn't help. Why they should I help when I wasn't the father? I mean, I... How did no you right. know that you weren't the father? Why not get a that's DNA why test here. then? That's why why not do it then if you, you had to help? force it on me. Why not do it... How old you was I? Forced... You're the adult. I'm the child. How am I supposed to do this? You're the adult. Why didn't you ask? Act, Why act didn't you like ask? It. Why don't you ask? Miss Fields, continue on, please. I'm listening. My grandparents, they adopted me. They did everything they could for me. They took care of me. They... They did more than what they were supposed to do. Yeah, and they pushed there. me out of the picture. That's because why. Because you were never to... in the picture. How could they pu push you out of the picture when you were never there to begin Samantha. with? Then why do you call other men dads all the time? Your mother's married with... right now. Because and I you're call calling him, him I called dad. him dad because he raised me from the time Bull I was hockey, 13. girl. That is... No, he, he didn't took, raise He you. bought my senior. Then why picture? do you always come to me for money and not them? If he's I your go dad. to them. I go to them. But you're my but, father. But you're you supposed always say that he come down. You are supposed to do for me. Me they Introduce will. me as your child, then I That's should right. get you what know, I need. I should get what I, I was told. You didn't do anything. Find uh, out that you're not. Uh, family, ladies, gentlemen, let's settle down a little bit because I do want to understand this, Ms. Fields. Your childhood. When I was 13 years old, January, my grandmother passed away, and right after that, I lost my grandfather. On my grandfather's deathbed, he specifically asked my dad if he would take care of, take care of his girls, stating me and my mom. He said yes. If he wasn't my father, so why would he... your mother found another man in her life, so why... And he took need care of me, so what is he that? Has, okay, he took right. care of me. Okay, so, Mr. Sandifer, did you date her mother? Did you have an intimate relationship they with were her mother? Married. Yes, Your Honor. Then she come up pregnant, and I was always told by friends that Samantha was my child, but you when the baby was too. born, I was there. Now, wait, this is what I'm trying to understand. You said you were at the hospital. And were you there because you thought you were about to have a baby with her mother? I was there for a friend. You weren't yes. even at the hospital? Oh, as a friend? Oh, no, yes, I was. And your mother had some other guy that she was dating at that time. But he was there and he said, oh, I got me a new daughter. I got me a new daughter. I don't remember this. I don't remember well, this. Of course you did. No, you wait, was a wait. baby. 
Yeah, you wouldn't remember that. Right. Right. No. Right. Mr. Sandifer, Can't there's another it. guy there. Re yes, Your Honor, there was. And he was saying, I have another daughter, I have another daughter. Yes, Your Honor. Speaking about Miss Fields. Yes, Your Honor. My so, mother was good to you. You so stayed out in the why were you there as a friend instead of as a potential or because new I've, father? I no, if I was the father, because she slept with so many different men. So she slept with different men. She slept. You were the one that stayed in the bar looking for women. Every woman. So you what? And your woman. mother was one of them. She she worked at a bar. She had two jobs to support well, me and my sister. she hung out there afterward. Too. Okay, just because she hung out, does that mean she's sleeping with other people? You hang out at the bar. Are you sleeping Ms. with everybody Fields? in the bar? Uh, if I get the chance. <laughs> He told the truth. I guess he told that. He's the womanizer. Oh, uh, Miss Fields. All your life you were told that Mr. Sandifer was your father. Yes, Your Honor. Your biological father. Yes, Your Honor. And were you ever told that it could be someone else? Never. Never. Not until I was 23 years old and he told me that on a Facebook message. Tell me about your relationship with Ms. Boyer. We don't have a relationship. We, we don't have a relationship like sisters should. Y'all hey, have a lot better relationship than me and you do. Of course, because I fought custody for her and everything. And you would have never done that if it wasn't for sure. How she could I when you was adopted out you from never... under me, Samantha? You weren't there before I was adopted out from under you. When I was nine years old, you could have done something. What did you want me to do? Do, act like a father. I, I was do what there you had for to do you. To get there was no of other man in your life what, to be your father. Do what you had to do. To I took the responsibility. Okay, you didn't take res up. responsibility of man up when when you were at the bar drinking. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. I want to hear from Miss Boyer. Please stand up, ma'am. Miss Fields, you may take a seat. Thank you for your testimony. You're welcome. Ms. Boyer, yes, explain Honor. to the court why you're here today exactly. I am here today to prove that Mr. Sandifer is my father. Um, I have proof otherwise, Your Honor. You have proof that she is not your daughter. My name's not on the birth certificate. I'd like to see that. Jerome, please hand me that evidence. But Your Honor, he was in a relationship with my mother when I was born, and he lived with us till I was five years old. This is a copy of Ms. Boyer's birth certificate? The reason there is another man on my birth certificate, Your Honor, is because my mother was married and separated. And told me I was the father. But because she was still married back 30 years ago, you had to put your husband on the birth certificate. Mr. Sandifer, you were there when Tuesday was born? Yes, Ms. Your Boyer? Honor. Were you there? Again, as a friend, or were you no, there because there you thought you father. were the father? I raised her for eight years to me and her mother separated. I paid child support religiously. Then this child would call me up and tell me there's no food in the house. Mama's gone. We don't know where she's at. Bring me some money or some food. I called my lawyer, Your Honor. She says, next visitation, Mr. Sandifer, pick your daughter up and don't take her back. I said, well, I liable to go to jail. She said, don't worry about that. I'll get you out. So we went to court. The judge gave her mother three opportunities to show up. She never showed up to court to never the court date. Never showed up. And you were awarded full? Yes, Your Honor. After that entire legal battle, did you believe Ms. Boyer was your biological child? Not really, Your Honor, because I still have doubts just because of the paperwork. If you're not my dad, why did you fight for me? Because I, mean, I love we... you and I manned up. Why did I you went... leave me I when I already had custody and go back to your mother? That's what I don't understand. I didn't go to my mother. You did. I went to. I you went, went to, to Atlanta, my brother, to Georgia. When I went to visit him, though, when, when he brought me back, I was 14 years old. Right. We pulled up to the house, and the house was abandoned. There was no one there. Everything was gone. You had moved to California. I found that out by going to no, no, my no, grandmother's no, no, no. house. That, that's wrong. So that's I wrong. went back to Georgia with my brother. I come up Tuesday. Yes, that was. After I had been there for almost two years. It, well, uh, you decided you thought things were better on the other side living with her. So I didn't want Ms. to move Boyer, to California. Ultimately, do you believe he abandoned you? Yes, Your Honor. I, I have do. never abandoned you. Just tell me how you feel. Your Honor. What do you feel? When I was 10, um, he got a divorce and I was left you with quit my grandmother. You quit school on me. 
I quit school because I had no one to sign me up for school because you wouldn't sign over rights so someone could sign me Why up for school. Why should I sign over my rights? Well, how could I go to school if no one could register me? But Your Honor, when he had a woman that had children, I was in his life. When there was a woman without children, I was left at my grandmother's. You're an adult now, Tuesday. Yes, but I have three kids that need you. They don't have oh, another boy, grandparent you know in their I'm life. There at least twice a week. At yes, least. But you don't do things with them like you used to. I work. I'm so tired. I barely have time for myself. I spend as much time as I can. You can't say that yes, I don't. But their we other just grandparents. We went to Huntsville just last summer. Right, and they enjoyed that. But Carried their other grandparents the have center. passed away, and they have no one else. They need you in their life. I need you in my life. Well, I believe you are my dad, and that's why I want to prove it. I mean, the difference between me and Samantha, okay, is I'm five foot one. She's five ten. I look like him. She doesn't. And I mean, there's a picture of me and him as a when I was a child. That was right after he got custody of me. That's such a cute picture. Thank you, Your Honor. May not have been the best dad in the world, but I tried my darndest. I worked my butt off so hard and tried to do things for y'all when I can and when I can afford it. I don't have an education. So pretty much, Ms. Boyer, you blame him. Yes, Your Honor. Because you feel like this relationship or lack of relationship caused you to drop out of school. Yes, Your Honor. What's the last grade you completed? Seventh grade. So you're suing him for the cost of a GED program because you believe he owes that to you. Something yes, I already Honor. paid for? That way I can help my kids with their homework. So you believe he owes you another GED test because the last time he paid for it, you were so distressed because of your relationship, you were not able to effectively study and pass. And that's why you're suing him yes, today Honor. for that. Yes. Okay. I think I'm ready for the results. Jerome? Ms. Boyer, I will start with you. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Fields Boyer v. Sandifer, when it comes to 31-year-old Tuesday Boyer, it has been determined by this court, Mr. Sandifer, you are not her father. Oh, wow. You okay, sir? You need to take a seat? Yeah. I'm fine. I'm fine. I, I was sure he was my father. God almighty. <sighs> Sorry, Your Honor. <sighs> <clears throat> my, my kids need a grandparent, so I've got to find... You got one. You got a father still. You still got a father. I would love for you to be in their life. <laughs> Mr. Sandifer, did you really want to be Ms. Boyer's father? Yes, Your Honor. I'm so sorry. Are you ready for the next result with Ms. Field? I got you. Yes, Your Honor. These results were also prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Fields Boyer v. Sandifer, when it comes to 25-year-old Samantha Fields, the court has determined Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. In the case of Fields Boyer v. Sandifer, the court has determined, Mr. Sandifer, you are not her father. Thank <laughs> you.
I presume Samantha wasn't, but I never thought Tuesday would have. I'm still here for you girls. Anytime. And your children's too. I'm still their grandfather. Ms. Boyer, the basis of your suit was that your father, the man that raised you, uh, was responsible for providing you with an education. And unfortunately, I cannot award you any money for an additional test because there have been no facts presented that he was at all negligent. Your claim is denied. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Sandifer, you have indicated you will still be here for the girls and their children, and I think that's commendable. Yes, Your Honor. And ladies, take advantage of Mr. Sandifer's offer. Do the work <laughs> and just help move <clears throat> forward. I think your dad could use a hug. <laughs> Sorry, girl. I'm so sorry. It's okay. <laughs> Not the results that I expected at all. I know. Your mom has got some explaining to do. Yeah, a lot. Oh, man. I wish you every, every blessing and good luck. Thank you, Your Court Honor. is adjourned. Thank you. Miss Boyer. I'd like to see you in my chambers, please. Miss Boyer, I'm so sorry. I know that was not the result you wanted. No, ma'am. Our court is about helping people that are ready to help themselves. Yes, ma'am. I have reached out to a GED program in your home state, and we have completely paid for, and we are willing to provide you with the opportunity to get that education, if you'd like it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Can I give you a hug? Oh, yes, I love hugs. <laughs>